What's up, people? It's Chris and J-Man coming at you. Hi! <laughs> oh, well, headquarters. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We all appreciate you. It's been a while since uh, since we did a little uh, coming at you live. Okay. So what do we got today? We got to the eyeball. So yesterday we, uh, you know, like I mentioned, and um, we we just initiated this kind of uh, two video challenge this week. I think it's a good week to kind of start getting videos out there. Oh, um, you know, one of uh, one of my clients that's in the group coaching said, "Hey, coach, can you give us an assignment to do two videos this week?" And I'm like, "I think that's a great idea." And I'm going to invite all the other social ninjas to do it as well. Let's see wow. what you got. So, um, uh, you know. Jay and I were talking earlier about uh, what kinds of videos that you could do. And um, a few ideas were coming out there. So we figured we'd just share a few ideas with you. If you're kind of one of those people that are like, I don't know what to make a video of. I'm out of ideas for content. So I guess I'll just post another listing, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You know, it's that, that moment where you go, oh, my, my computer's low on battery. I should probably plug it in before I totally power down. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. That's me at seven o'clock at night. <laughs> no doubt. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about some different kinds of videos. I mean, we there's a lot of things we see out there. Uh, I mean, clearly the people in the real estate business, real estate related videos, and um, uh, we were talking about quite a few ideas, like um, you know the the how to videos, and I mean you had some ideas even with the Christmas tree shopping or turkeys. So. Um, well, why don't you why don't you throw us a J Man nugget? What do you got going oh, on? I got the nuggets. I got the nuggets. Listen, folks. Uh, so when I'm thinking about content to create, I think, okay, what am I going to be doing in the next week or two? How can I incorporate that into my content creation strategy? Because it's like, don't make more work for yourself, right? And this this has annoyed my family over the years, but they've gotten used to it because everywhere we go, you know, for example, like we have a tradition now, Black Friday, we're we, we go cut our Christmas tree down. We're like the Griswolds. I go out there. I got my, and I, it's not actually an ax. It's just a little <laughs> stall. Uh, but we go to this Christmas tree place. They have this whole production. You cut the tree down. They bring it. And so I thought, okay, it's changed this year because of the pandemic. You have to make an appointment now on the, at the date and time that you're going to go get your Christmas tree. So I've made this video in the past. It's a great video. Like, what to bring, make make sure you measure the height in your room because we used to have a vaulted ceiling and I'd be like, it doesn't matter. Our ceiling's super tall. And I get there and I, I get the tree home. I got to cut a freaking foot off the top because, you know, looks bigger when you get it home. <laughs> <laughs> so many jokes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, so you're, you're, a like Christmas that. tree, like a Christmas tree shopping video. I mean, I mean, do you use it to promote the place? I, I mean, take, take us what the finished product's going to look like. Yeah, so the we'll I'll post an example uh, in the comments once we're done, but it, it's very informational because people want to tune in and see it as a resource. Like, man, oh, J Man knows all the great places in Rochester to get all of these things done that I want to accomplish over these next few weeks or these next couple of months. He's an expert in the area because he mm -hmm. knows about all these things. Now, many other people may know, many other realtors may know, but they're too busy going, I just sold the house. You know, 70,000 over asking with 75 offers. Like, great. I just sold one that was 90,000 over asking. I didn't do one post about it. Not one. Right. I, I'd rather be more about the community, more about, you know, things that people want to know about. It could be related to real estate, could not be. Uh, and, 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 and promoting small business, because it was one other thing we talked about there, too. Well, and I mean, that's one of my favorite things It's because, um, I mean, I, I've, you know, after becoming a speaker and a coach, my business is business to business really. Uh, so, and I just, uh, I think that was something that I really overlooked when I was a real estate salesperson was, uh, how huge that can be is, um, just being a, particularly with what we have at our fingertips with video and social media and just being able to, you know, go into your local coffee shop and just like review the holiday drink, right? Like, like I'm about to try this pumpkin spice latte and I'm not talking about it at Starbucks. I'm talking about the one at Java Joe's on the corner. You know what I mean? So I think there's like those kinds of, so, and there's like a co-marketing opportunity. Cause I know that the videos that we do now, we might be talking to a mortgage broker. Uh, we might be talking to them in a restaurant, talking to the owner of that restaurant. There's people there. Uh, people know the restaurant. They know the neighborhood. They know the mortgage broker. They know me. And then that's what happens. It's just like you kind of capitalize off of 
off of everybody's network. And at the very least, you could be uh, informational. I love how you said it shows your expertise in the area. Because what are you saying without saying it? You know, and it's like, that's, I think a lot of business people too much are talking about themselves. And it's like, how can you say it without saying? Well, uh, somebody who we don't know who it is said, okay. I have a brochure saying, I'm an expert in the area. I grew up here and I did this and I did that. And it's like, or I can just show you. Here's the best spot. Here's the best Italian place. Here's the best pizza, best ice cream, best coffee. Here's the parks that you should go to. Here's where you get your tree. And then they're like, wow, this guy is an expert in the area. Like, look at that. Share the knowledge. Share yeah, the that's, knowledge. So that's Share one thing. Like, so doing things like that. Um, I mean, and another thing I think that uh, gets a lot of traction, you know, we, uh, we look at our, our friend, Christina Smallhorn, right? Like how to videos, right? Um, that's huge. And you know, if you want to shortcut it, you can actually go to like answerthepublic.net and you can find out what people are searching for. Um, mm -hmm. and you can create content specifically for that. I mean, particularly if you're gonna use YouTube and stuff like that. It's uh, you know, Google loves when you do that stuff. Um, well, so I mean, how to videos are huge. I think it's good, be, you know, to strategize because so often we we wanna make what we wanna make. Mm. Us typically in real estate, like you might be a control freak. Okay. Just let go for a second and go, well, I want to make videos about this. Well, <laughs> what do your clients want? And that's where the like answer the public comes in. You can actually really look at the back end and say, this is what they're looking for. And okay. Out of all of those, here's ones that I want to make. And then what like Christina or like Antoine Dupont and some of the other YouTube experts would say, okay, but now do a Google search for your area for that search term find a video that's very popular and rip off and duplicate. Because you'll see these videos, it'd be like 10,000 views and it's they're not that great, right? You can be better, absolutely, yeah. than them. It's just they they have the, the thumbnails and, and all the rest of the tagging stuff down. But you gotta, you don't have to be good to start, but you have to start in order mm. to be there. So yeah, we got, we got, uh, you know, community videos visiting out there, like the the local neighborhood businesses and, uh, you know, stuff like that. We got how-to videos. Uh, and um, another kind of video that I am a huge fan of um, are interview videos, right? And we were talking about uh, earlier, like kind of uh, what's, you know, with all the media kind of frenzy around uh, COVID-19 and uh, anticipating What's going to happen with your with your sellers and buyers? People are going to. I don't want to put my house in the market, or uh, you know, I'm going to put things on hold. And um, that's there's ways around it, right? So and you have to know as a professional the ways around it and how you can deal with those things. And what better way to get that out to the community than with video? And that's exactly what the media does anyway, right? So it's always like, you know, there's a riot, and they show a video of like, you know, somebody throwing a brick through a window. You don't realize it was from 15 years ago, but it like you know, it, it it has the 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 effect they're looking for, you know. Well, you um, so I think that's another thing. Their PR almost because they're doing a really, you know, they want the negative press. They that's what gets people to click, and it's up to us as realtors and professionals in the industry to kind of spin that in a positive way it, it, with the truth and say, sure. look at with our safer selling systems. And again, this is one I, I keep using because I like alliteration. Uh -huh. so, with our safer selling systems, let us show you how you can sell your home virtually. Because I feel like many of us across the United States are headed back for uh, for another shutdown where we're going to be doing less stuff in person. So get ahead of that. Get ahead of it. Start putting it in people's mind. Because if we go, like I'm in Rochester, New York, if we go and then they say, okay, we can't do all of these acti real estate activities anymore, I've already started communicating. We have this safer selling system. We can do it virtually, virtually yep. with video and we're the masters of it and other agents will be trying to catch up. You've already put it out there and, and demonstrated that you're better at it. Absolutely. Well, you know, you, we talk about objections, right? And you have objections and what objections are not conditions. They're really just unanswered questions. So if we can figure out what that objection would possibly be, what, what, what could that objection be? What's the qu underlying question that's not answered? And then guess what? When we put a video out there, um, it's like, like, for example, if you have a video, uh, if you have a video in your pre-listing email uh, of talking about the dangers of overpricing, um, your pricing conversation is going to be a lot easier on your listing agreement. And that's a, that's just an example of addressing an objection before it comes. The more heavy lifting you do up front, you know, number one, it, it's, it shows your expertise. Number two, it makes it easier on the back end. And, you know, also sometimes people might say, hey, no other agent is saying this or, you know, no other business person right. is talking about, um, you know, the, the ways that we can operate in this in this climate. So I'm going to call them first. Right. I'm going to you know, I'm going to reach out to them. 
let, let's give them a couple tips for for interview so i think we we do it so often that we take for granted the skill set that's involved in interviewing others and also because there's two sides of it right being the host and being the interviewee is that mm -hmm. right interviewee. yeah the interviewer the interviewee yeah so let's talk a little bit about how you're the host now this is you set this up you're the host am i i thought this was just both of us i mean let's we're role playing <laughs> <laughs> so you're the host how would it be different than if you're the interviewee uh, well, okay. So if, if somebody's going to, if somebody's going to, and there's benefits to both, to being on both sides of that. Right. Um, so I think if I always say like the best way for you to bring content is to curate content, right? So like you're constantly having conversations with professionals, you know, day in and day out, they have something to offer. So I, I think as a host, if you have a certain message that you want to get out there, certain points, um, to kind of set up the guidelines like, okay, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, like using the same example, uh, doing, conducting business, whatever business you're in, in COVID, what are you doing to respond to this? This is a big question that's happening. So kind of answering that question and getting a validity, whether you're talking to uh, an insurance person about, uh, you know, about what's, what's on the horizon or a mortgage person or, or an attorney about the legal stuff. Um, so that's, I think, you know, just asking great questions, getting the information out there to the public where you're the curator of that content. And then on the other end, when people are interviewing you and asking you questions, it's, it's going to be on something that you're an expert on, which is going to be maybe a particular neighborhood, a particular niche, something like that. Uh, and you know, the, the, um, the ancillary benefit of all this is that regardless of which side you're on, uh, your, your digital world gets to see you and hear you. And, uh, they, do I like this person? Do I not like this person? And both of those things are okay. And I always say that, uh, people do business with people that they know, like, and trust. Um, and, uh, they can get to know you and like you through video. Yeah. And, and so let me just, I'll, from my perspective, like as a host, uh, what I would do differently is I would talk a lot less. Like yeah. I, I think sometimes in real estate, and just say that personality type, we're social people. We want we we want to be the star. But if you're the host, but you watch David Letterman, you you watch any of these really great interviewers, and they're great at asking questions. Sure. And then getting out of the way, right? Let you answer the question, actively listening, and then asking maybe a more in depth question because too often, like it's like I'm going through a list of questions. Uh, tell us about the mortgage market. Okay. And how's the closing process rather than, okay, let me listen to what the response is. How can we go a little bit deeper? And then when I'm on the interview E side, what I do is I, I always have talking points prepared, you know, ask whoever the host is. If, if your, your mortgage guy says, Hey, real estate person, or you're a business person and the chamber of commerce is, is interviewing you. Cause we have, you know, uh, all kinds here in the group. I would say, okay, what are we going to talk about? Like, what's our subject? Who is our audience and what's the message? And so then I, I would prepare talking points. And if you, you don't have to always directly answer a question, if you don't want to, if you ever seen any politician since the beginning of time, this is what they do. They were like, Oh, so Chris, what do you feel about the, uh, the state of the economy? I'm like, it's a great time to buy a home. Real estate is more affordable than it's ever been. I'm like, oh, shoot, he never really answered. That question, did he? <laughs> yep, yep. Just have That's your, how it works. Have your talking points prepared, and then yep. that's the best way. Those of you who are nervous, like, I don't know what to say. Well, always have fallback bullet points that you can just, okay, uh, interest rates are at 2.75. There's a great program available in my area for first-time home buyers. Whatever it is, just as long as you can sound intelligent and, and know what you're talking about. We all, we're all good at something. We all, we all know a lot about something, um, and I think it's uh, – it's uh, it's 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 really, that's really what sets everybody apart, you know. And the whole thing is, is like sometimes it doesn't really matter what you know. It matters how you make people feel. Um, if people feel good about um, you know, contacting you about something, that's 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 really what matters. But I think um, with uh, with, with interviewing, it's um, these people, David Letterman, Oprah Winfrey, they've created big, pretty big businesses asking people great questions, right? I mean, I'd say, and and they're not coming up with any content at all. Um, it's just, uh, they're interviewing great people that have interesting things to say. So it's about asking, asking the right questions. Well, and if you look at date, like, uh, our next guest needs no introduction. Like if you haven't great seen show. it, go, go watch it. But the more you watch it, you're going to realize he does so much homework on his guests. 
And it's not like he's, he very rarely references a cue card at all. Yeah. He has it all right here because he studied it. So he's going to ask all of these really difficult questions, but he, he's done his homework, right? If, if you're going to yeah. do something once a week, know your guests, you know, not just the surface level stuff, you know, what, what else can you find out about them or, or what have other people not asked them that they want to talk about? Like ask them really, really get in deep. We got somebody said, I, my video, I'm a video about you. I don't know who that is. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a video about you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so whoever you are, cool. Uh, we can't wait. Listen, you can post your videos in here. Um, and uh we'll 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 be sure to see them. We would like you to get them outside of the group. And if you do them outside of the group, you could tag us um so that we could see it, uh, see what kind of engagement you're getting. We can engage on it and help you. Um, and also like post it in the group if you want, even before you release it, if you want to get some feedback. And here's a here's a thing that people don't think of a lot. Uh, in, in my coaching group yesterday, we had, um, you know, Carmen that wanted to do this, um, was said, you know, we have Yolanda Racinos down in Hawaii uh, and she's doing videos, right? She's doing yeah, pretty good videos. Great. And yeah. she's a lot of people, she said her videos, people from New York are calling her like wanting to kind of buy in Hawaii, relocate. And there's a big market there. So Carmen was like, wait a second, Yolanda, why don't I interview you? Um, why don't I interview you um, in order to, you know to communicate that Hawaii value proposition to my New York sellers and buyers, right? The people that she has. Yeah, that's I might interview agents interviewing agents. I think that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I still don't know who you are, person, Facebook user. We see. I know. I know it is. Hold on. <laughs> are you looking on your phone? It's Afshin uh, Termechi. Oh, Afshin. Afshin, the Persian oh. dream. Welcome. Sorry. Yep. Thanks for joining oh, us. She made, she made a video about you. Is he's making no. He's a uh, he's he's breaking balls, but um, he's oh. making. <laughs> I got I got some pretty funny videos of Ashin. I can actually uh, um, that'd be that'd be pretty funny. I'd love to see Ashin in a video. You got to do it with the with your cigar, bro, like Persian style. Listen to me, listen to me. Always good time to sell a house. <laughs> Well, and, and we'll, we'll post some, we have different video examples that we can post yeah. here. And, and I think I love what Chris was saying. You can use the, the, the group as a sounding board. We don't want it to be like a, an area for personal promotions for, you know, posting your listing videos, but if you're going to do a video, say, okay, I made this video. Uh, I used my Samsung galaxy S 10. I, I, you know, set it up in Animoto movie mm. maker. And here's the, uh, I use my AirPods for the audio. Like, Break it down like that, and then we could make, you know, oh, I really like this, or why don't we shorten it here so that maybe you could make a final edit before it goes to press, if you will, or or to the public. Yeah, excellent, excellent way to do it. Yeah, it's – um. I mean, yeah, the thing about this group is that um, it's always the intention is to add value to each other and, um, you know, to kind of help each other share ideas and tips and things like that. So um, we're here to help you, all of us, um, all the admins, as well as each other in the uh, uh, <laughs> no joke, guys. You're awesome. Thank you. We appreciate that. Um, we're awesome. So <laughs> everything is awesome if you don't follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we got a couple of outlaws here. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, I think. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, use each other in the group. Uh, use each other in the group. Well, so, I mean, it's all business people in the group. A lot of real estate people, mostly real estate people. We have some other businesses, uh, which is cool. So connect with people. If you say, hey, I want to do a video. Uh, I want to do an interview video or I want to be interviewed or I want to interview somebody in this business. Just post it in there. See who comes up, right? Yeah, um, everybody's we'll do, we'll, we'll do another post after this saying, who would like to interview each other? Comment below and then we can kind of connect people that way. That'll be cool. Yeah, yeah. Same Chris as always. Yeah, I pretty much don't change. I just turned 40 and... I um, we were just talking about that, right? Yeah. yeah. So if we have no questions, um, we'll, we'll let you guys go. If you need video ideas, reach out to us. If you're up oh. for the challenge, let's see your Wait, videos. One last, one last thing. Here's here's one video that I think this I plan to make this later this afternoon. So if you follow me, I'm gonna be making it probably in the next 30 minutes or so. Uh it's gonna be about small business Saturday. You know, they have they have Black Friday, they have small business Saturday, then they have Cyber Monday. Okay, I'm gonna do a post about Hey, 
Who do you know that has a small business? Please tag them in this video below so that we can help support them. Because what happens is Black Friday is all about big box stores. Everybody's lined up at Target, Walmart, Best Buy. I don't see Joe's Coffee Shop there. I don't see it any of these smaller places like PC Richard and Sons or you know the, the, the smaller spots that are going to go into shutdown again soon and may not survive. So let's support them. Let's let's reach out to them and say, hey, what kind of specials do you have for Black Friday? Because uh, Cyber Monday could be more important to their business than ever before. Uh, we've seen in my in my where I live, it's just gone to orange, which means salons and gyms are closing. And so maybe they can get gift certificates, gift cards, anything like that that could be used. Because everybody knows around the new year, you're like, oh, I'm too fat. I ate too much. That's when the gyms, the gyms are the fullest. They do. Right? They blow up in the beginning of the year, the New Year's resolutions. So it's like, get, you know, good time to get gift cards and let those, let the gyms see the revenue that they might realize in, in 2021 when things yeah. open back up so they could still have the, some operating income. Yeah, it's a good idea. And, you know, another thing that you can do, I mean, as an expert in your community is going to those small businesses and asking them, um, you know, what promos are they offering? And everybody will offer a promo for your group, right? So, right. I mean, I know I've done stuff in a coffee shop where, hey, if you come down, if you if you mention this video, you'll get a, uh, you know, you'll get a, uh, a free cup of coffee, you know, and people will do that. I did that in a place in Little Neck and um, some people come down, you know, Kyle Kelly used to do well, the on the house, right? Come down with me and talk real estate and you'll get a beer on the house, you know, which is kind of, uh, I think, a, a cool idea you know, to, co to combine what you're doing with another local business. So look for those opportunities. Is there a guy that works there called The House? <laughs> yeah, you know, is that, that's, that's, the name, that's the name of the bartender. Oh, I have a rim shot. Hold on. Do we made it this long without a dad joke, and there it was. There it is. Why would it? <laughs> Hold on. Um. So yeah, we got. I think Afton put Doctor Termechi. That's a uh, Afton's brother is a uh. That's is a is a dentist, a very good one. So, I guess. Uh, yeah, check him out. You know, if you need a dentist. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right, guys. We have any questions? No. All right. So we'll see everybody. Um. You know, we'll see everybody's videos at some point. Oh, oh, oh. I love it. On a fixing again. So we'll see everybody. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody's videos. Make sure you share them. Uh, let, let us know if you want feedback. Or maybe you don't want feedback. You just want to show us. It's fine. And get, get them out there into the world, right? So um, we're looking forward to seeing everybody's videos. And if uh, we don't see you before then, see you again sooner than later in um, the virtual social ninja world. All right, everybody. Peace out, everybody.